Yo, what's going on everybody? This is gonna be a video on purging the cells, specifically the negative habit patterns that we may develop based upon early seeds that are planted or things that we indulge into, but just due to a lack of calculation, we still, we miss the point that if we spend time in, the, in what's comfortable or the things that we love can be the savings that destroy us, based upon that, we can create a pattern of power that we hate that actually leads us to experience a negative life, right? But before all that, I, would, I do wanna apologize because I didn't have a video or I didn't post anything for the past week, just because I'm kind of going through this phase of where I'm kind of reconsidering how I'm approaching things as far as like marketing my uh, brand and my content and shit like that. So I'm trying to develop a better, more holistic way of doing those things. But yeah, that's also me just kind of giving an excuse as to why why I wasn't disciplined enough to still produce videos while I'm improving how I go about it and simultaneously developing these things as I go along simultaneously. Simultaneously, that's how life is, you know? It'll be simultaneous. But yeah, without bitching about my lack of discipline, <laughs> I'm gonna get into this shit, purging the patterns that we hate and shit like that, you know? Growing up, we develop habits that become a fixated way of being and living life, essentially building cornerstones of our lives uh, negative life experiences and outcomes that accumulate, experiences that don't align with the ideal future of a state of being and a daily process and a practice that enhances our life, rather depreciates it, right? Because a lot of the times in developing this ideal future, you have to become the ideal version of yourself. You have to become the character as a result of practices, as a result of affirmations, self-talk, external practices and processes that we go about so we can actually manifest that ideal future. Like being a failure in life, for example, not achieving your goals and whatever it is that you have as far as aspirations and shit like that is literally a step-by-step -step process. So if we indulge in these uh, unrighteous ways, which is just basically another way of saying being in an animalistic nature. So for example, one example of an animalistic nature can be like, overeating and shit like that if we're constantly overeating food and we're not we're not understanding the point of food the fact that our environment what we take what we input what we take in is a resource as far as like not only as far as the food that we eat as far as the thoughts and feelings that we allow ourselves to process or align ourselves with what we resonate with emotionally uh you know aspirationally whatever it is these things literally become our lives so we don't actually go into these things with a premise with a narrative of understanding what the purpose of that thing is that we may use it that thing negatively that negative thing can be the word we could you could use the word against you rather than for you you could eat food that that, that hurts your the biology of your health not only physically but also mentally and you could manifest the result of having cancer having adverse health effects just do not understanding what you're eating and you know having a lack of understanding of you know on how to take care of your health type of shit because health is not just a biological construct it's also a construct that has resulted based upon the thoughts and feelings that and the habit patterns that we are you know and uh what's it called participating in and shit like that right because you can have somebody that's participating in something that's healthy for them and manifesting healthy results a healthy body and you can have someone that's invested into circumstances and situations that are negative for them but by their lack of awareness but their lack of um ob ob observation of what's going on that's happening to their mind and body through them participating in that activity that can result in a long-term um effect via a lifestyle of ignorance that results in them creating a negative result that they could have foreseen from a far away but because of a lack of experience or a lack of you know ability to process or being invested emotionally or loving and catering something over indulging over indulging into shit that's negative by nature it could result into us manifesting just negative shit versus actually positive shit that we can't experience but a lot of the times the observer needs to learn to observe the instinct rather than actually fucking um thinking that it is the instinct and shit like that because this mind this vehicle is a very advanced shape form for this for your spirit to play out and shit right yeah so this so this happens through like this um the development and this attachment to this negative self-image and self-concept that is driven by negative affirmations, self-talk, practices, and habits. The fruits of life we produce are a manifestation of the roots via seeds planted that sprouted into life and the soil of our mind. To purge yourself is to burn, incinerate the roots or neural connections or pathways that, uh, that support a fixation on negative habit patterns or behaviors 
that stem from an outlook and or perception uh, from our cycle of thoughts and feelings that is subconsciously motivated by a non-benevolent observer, by non-observant observer of that reality or timeline, right? Because the thing is like, we can have negative habits and make mistakes. That's cool. That's just a part of life. Like errors happen and shit like that, right? But if we don't actually sit back and observe the error of our ways, we're not going to be able to correct it, right? So for example, right? You can see how some plants grow in concrete, right? Now that may be the wrong place, but there's no such thing as the, the wrong time almost, right? But if that plant can navigate its environment correctly, it can still come to the surface of the concrete and still receive the light of life that can keep it, you know, alive and going and shit like that. So what I'm saying is sometimes we can be in a negative situation or we can perceive our circumstance as negative, AKA the cards that life has handed us. But a lot of the times if we're uh, an observant observer and we're not stuck into the perception that someone else gave us about something, a circumstance or a situation, we can make that circumstance situation positive for us and work for us and chill out rather than something negative. Like you can see this shit all the time in nature with people where someone who's broke and from that came from nothing, from even from a shitty ass family, can become someone who's actually worth something and can achieve the wealth that that the person who may have gotten it from their fathers as a generational wealth couldn't necessarily sustain it because they didn't have the character or the virtue needed to actually, you know, you know, maintain it, fixate on it, uh, mutate it as needed and shit. Because like change becomes very important, right? Because one plant may have grown in the best environment and the other plant may have grown in the worst environment as the example earlier of the, of the plant growing underneath concrete but still being able to come to the surface. It's about just being able to navigate, circumnavigate those waters. If you are like thinking about it as you were like a fucking uh, captain of a ship and shit like that and you gotta navigate all these, all these emotional wrecks of people around you, you gotta be able to navigate your own emotions effectively and shit like that and not be, and not be drowned your vessel your mind should not be drowned by your, how you feel, your emotions of yourself or other people, because a lot of the times these emotions can be built upon just bullshit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like fear, for example, is an emotion that we can react to that may hold us back on our purpose and shit like that, shit like that, that we just need to learn to process better rather than, uh, you know, running away from it and shit, right? Man, I really gotta space this text out that next time, for real, for real. Uh, yeah, to purge yourself is to hate, burn, incinerate the roots or neural connections or paths that support a fixated negative habit pattern or, or behavior that stems from an outlook perception from our cycle of thoughts and feelings that is subconsciously motivated by a non uh, by a non observant observer of that reality and timeline. Because your reality, your timeline, that's your reality, and you have to own it. So if you're in a reality, a timeline that's negative. You have to look at the shit that you're doing as potentially negative, whatever, wherever you direct your awareness towards, maybe things that are not actually fruitful. So you need to take your awareness and your observation and start to plant seeds and like grow some plants that are actually healthy for you, AKA neural connections and shit like that towards shit that's actually fruitful, like working out. Okay. It's fruitful. You doing a project that you're unfamiliar, uncomfortable with is, is fruitful. You taking care of uh, a way of feeling that is not helping you. That could be a part of your self concept. Like, shame guilt fear shit like that like you're a peasant or some shit that's non-fruitful so that needs to be taken care of and shit like that you know what i'm saying so we have to be able to take care of ourselves in order to actually create that ideal future because without taking care of yourself you can't create an ideal future you know what i'm saying real shit uh ta -ta 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 -ta. But, okay so our potential a lot of the times is wasted. Like if you go to the graveyard, you'll see a lot of people whose potential is fucking wasted because it's like they didn't do nothing with their lives and shit like that, right? So we don't want to be one of those people. We don't want to waste our potential because everyone has mad potential. But if you do, don't do nothing with that potential, then you're going to be at your deathbed. You're going to be at a point in your life where you're going to be like, damn, I wish I should have, could have. And it's like, you're going to have to do more work to recover yourself from that negative uh, character, negative situation, circumstance that you created for yourself. And shit like that. Cause it's like, like I said, that's why I was saying earlier, you gotta be an observant observer so you can actually see what like what are you what are you drawing on this life? Because life is like an empty canvas, but whatever your beliefs are, you're gonna draw that and you're gonna create a life based upon those beliefs and shit. So you gotta make sure that your beliefs, which you have faith 
in, like what you have your imagination towards, what your actions are going towards, the shit that's actually allowing you to actually develop into the character, into the brand, into the person that can actually live out that ideal future. Because that no one is going to come and drop that shit on your lap. Like, you know, if you're living a negative life right now, no one is going to come and drop some shit on your lap for you to be like. And even if someone does give you a million dollars because your ass might be a fucking crackhead and a gambling ass dumbass. And here's the thing. These things, these things are not bad, but you got to know how to get in and out of those things. You can't be a fucking gambling addict and your whole life is built on gambling. And here's the thing. You might be so lucky to even like get a million dollars but what's going to sustain the million dollars is a fucking mindset and a, and a particular char character so i'm not because gambling can be good if you know how to get in, in and out of it like investing your money can be good if you know how to get in and out of those things that you've invested your money on because it's all about being able to change and mutate and shit like that but you can't necessarily say that i have it like gambling is going to be the cornerstone of your life that's going to build your life it could be a side activity you might get lucky in it but gambling is not the habit that's going to build your character and build yourself into a brand of you know whatever it is whatever type of brand that you want to be so when i look at this world personally there's people that brand themselves with animalistic natures and the world that we are in that we are in it celebrates people with animalistic natures and it makes that seem like the normal right thing to do and it's okay if you're a victim it's okay if you're you know operating from that lower animalistic nature not being a proper observer and here's the thing right in this world you're gonna have to push yourself to be more angelic you have to push yourself to be more uh righteous like for some shit that's actually good for you because this world in general doesn't promote that you know what i'm saying that you can see everyone that speaks about like life without a bias life with a holistic point of view is not going to be liked and valued and appreciated by the people of earth because the people of earth are just fucking demonic and shit so they're not going to be appreciated shit like so motherfuckers like andrew tate or like just Dolan the pilot man or you know mt33 you know mooney mercury baby uh zay quarter all those a uh, day beyond a uh, day beyond tv beyond dave tv and shit all those people that are actually doing the virtues and shit like that you're not going to be appreciated just due to the way the world is built and the world's going to disrespect you but that's part of the whole uh reality that we're in because we're just in a really low vibrational demonic reality so if you're going down this path then you got to understand that this path is just like some next shit like if you're trying to be somebody in this world like in a righteous way and take control of your life and actually become create that ideal future you might not be looked about maybe you may not be looked upon positively just for just because everyone is choosing some self-defeating low vibrational uh victimizing victimizing path that everyone around them is uh, is you know catering to so that creates the whole sheep you know narrative and shit like that so it's like you don't have your own independent thought process you you build your life around someone else's thought process and you think that's what it means to live life rather than you building on your own thought process building your own life and shit like that and you can have life kind of cater to you rather than you catering to it so husbands sit there and cater to their wives or wives cater to their husbands and they lose themselves within that dynamic of relationship just due to them not putting themselves first due to them, due to them not being individuals and shit like that and you can see how society today is flipping that position around where men are acting like women women are acting like men blah 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 and we're living this life of unbalanced so a life of unbalanced will only lead to destruction and not constructive construction and shit like that because that's what we're trying to do we're trying to have some constructive construction but we live in a society that's promoting um you know the self-destruction and shit like that and the destruction of a society and it's all done by purpose but with us being aware people and shit like that we have to ad adapt to the non-benevolent evil narrative that is operated by the people that are behind the curtain and shit like that and create a lifestyle that is beyond their shit so it's like whatever because our ways is going to be beyond they shit and that's why we know we're talking about purging the selves and the patterns that we motherfucking hate and shit. So yeah, our potential is wasted and spoiled due to a lack of diligence in applying ourselves in a productive approach. Rather, uh, one guided by the mindset of consuming, keeping, uh, keep in mind though, right? Because we are in a culture of consumership. Basically, we're constantly consuming. So, and we're... And keep in mind, right? This is a fact of history. The Roman Empire, they fell because at some point they decided to overly indulge into sex, drinks, and all that shit. But that's the thing. That's the thing though, right? There's nothing wrong with doing these things. But if you overly indulge into these things, then these things can fucking destroy you. Because you can't tell me you're going to operate through life drunk, 
on wine and god damn it all that you can't do that but you need to set a certain level of pro proficiency to do it and if you're drunk it should be like a righteous feeling it should be like some something higher octave because the nature of being drunk itself just means to be what type of mind are you actually on what type of time are you on are you on demon time or angel mind so if you're drunk preferably because drunkness fluid fluidity is like the filter of your mind and shit like that right so if you filter your reality through some drunkness that is unrighteous this it could be negative but if but if you like live your life with a filter of reality of drunkness that is actually more righteous on a percentage level then it's like the filter that you will see life in will be more godly so for example right someone could be drunk on the idea of self-defeat that they can't do something that they don't they don't even like themselves right if that's the filter of reality that you're drunk on then you're gonna whenever you're presented with difficulty something hard you need to overcome you might not do it because you're because you're drunk on that trait you're drunk on that character of self-defeat you can't do something you don't know how to do something right so that becomes a character that's a trait that we get drunk on and live life through or you can be drunk on the fact that you're fucking confident that no open form against you can prosper that you're a fucking real g that you can accomplish anything in life and that form of drunkenness would actually per you know become something positive that it would be a testimony for other people to see you and for you to see yourself overcome things that the average man and woman would not want to go through just because it doesn't cater to their conveniences or you know uh their the, what they love with their comfort zone or whatever it is right and shit like that so it gets so it gets really interesting and shit um so yeah just like how the roman empire fell as a result of uh fucking chasing pleasure and shit like that venus shit comforts and shit that's the same thing that destroyed it so think about the things that you're comfortable with in your life as far as thoughts and feelings as far as things that you go to that you might like to stay at for long periods of time without doing necessarily or taking actions on things that you're uncomfortable with, unfamiliar with, because that unfamiliarity of something is the same shit that's going to allow you to attract the new thoughts and feelings by transforming yourself to that new circumstance. That's what's gonna allow you to attract those new thoughts and feelings to build that new, more productive, more constructive circumstance. And it's just like a spiral, spiral, right? If you're invested in something negative, it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. If you're, if you're invested in something that's positive for you, it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. But you have to look at it like, okay, I'm here at this point of time. I dislike this version of myself because it's not bringing me the ideal future that I wanna create. So I need to learn to let go of this version of me and jump to a new timeline where a better version of me exists so I can actually have a more constructive, more productive, and direct my attributes, my characteristics towards the ends and the means that I wanna uh, experience and shit like that. Because then at that point, you realize that what you're, we're all observers and we're all contributing our mind to something. And there's a bunch of programs in reality that we can put our mind and add our mind towards and shit like that, but it might not be something that's actually positive for us in the long term and shit like that, right? So you can either, it's like that, it's like the Indian allegory of saying, which wolf are you gonna feed, right? Is it gonna be the one that's uh, the negative one or is it gonna be the positive one? And you have to choose through your daily practices the positive one. And even if you do jump into the negative one, you have to learn not to stay in there for too long because that version of you is not uh, adding thoughts and feelings or living out that version of you is not gonna bring into existence the reality that you actually wanna experience and shit like that. Now I'm saying real fucking stuff. So one must one must become aware of the manifestation of his or her via the subconscious intentions that are guiding the creation of, of your life, right? And that's the point of understanding our subconscious and unconscious realm because there is a bunch of intentions that are subconscious in nature that are guiding our lives that are just being triggered and brought to the surface that are bubbling up in terms of things that we should kind of be invested into when we're consciously aware that we may need to learn to move away from and shit like that because like we all have these subconscious intentions that we created that become this a negative desire or it could be a positive desire for example you can have a, like it's just about not overly indulging to these things because it's not good or bad you can sit back watch a movie but it but if you overly indulge into that realm too much, like your whole life becomes about you watching TV shows and movies and shit like that, you're part of that consuming consumer culture, you're not productive, you're not actually creating anything, then it's like, it's just gonna play, become, a, become a comfort zone and it's gonna be a more of a state of contraction. It's not gonna be a state of 
expansion and in this world of like sun and moon one and two you want to learn how to go into the unseen reality and seen reality and create things in your favor aka accessing unlimited possibilities infinity intelligence all that all that is possible and shit like that's so you want to create a life where anything is possible for you just due to the way that you you know process your reality and process yourself because a lot of people like the ability to process their old self get it get that move 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 that shit away from them from their fucking peripheral view and actually start to put shit in their peripheral view that is actually positive and this can look like people dropping you know things that they overly indulge in and this this can look like you not playing or paying attention to a video game so much it can look like you not getting that dopamine shot through gambling or whatever and it, those things are not positive or negative again i'm just saying like these things can be overly indulged you can overly indulge into like mushrooms or lsd and shit like that stuff like that right you can overly indulge into motherfucking anything that we overly indulge into can be negative i don't care if you're even if you're working out if you overly indulge into working out and you make your life all about that then it's like eventually you're gonna get tired and overly exhausted and too deteriorated to even carry out and here's the thing right when you're young you can do more of these things but when you get older it's gonna be more difficult to do these things so it's good to keep your body in that to do that but too much of it can be negative and shit. So it's like, it just depends on, because you're building your capability, right? You can build your capability, increase your capability positively, or you can increase your capability fucking negatively and shit. Like you can be more capable of lifting more weight if you work out in that area. You could be more capable of consuming more food and being fucking a fat fuck, 190 pounds and shit because you put so much time and energy into that and that becomes the neural pathways that subconsciously the subconscious intentions that build and you know guide our observer our reality into self-creating itself because we are self-creating patterns but when we become the pattern that we're subconsciously self-creating it becomes this it becomes this uh power and ability for us to really transform ourselves and transform our reality because now we're aware of what subconscious intentions are and which subconscious intentions are is the things that or the things that we have the roots we have become passionate about subconsciously and now it becomes like something that creates our reality just by triggers that we play out in our mind as normal but we may not be as aware of so we may not know how to remove them aka that can become a part of our negative self and our negative reality and shit like that uh so when you become aware of your subconscious intentions you will take control of the subconscious mechanism that is creating your life and reprogramming or redirecting the forces of nature that are available to your mind to create affirmations self-talk practices and processes that support that ideal future build it, building cornerstones and roots that foundate us into a future that aligns with purpose rather than the purpose purposeless life because a lot of people including myself i don't want to fucking be on this earth and live a purposeless life i like that is just me sitting here catering to comfort zones desires uh, old versions of myself that i really should already be uh, detaching from and catering to that new version of myself so i can go ahead and bring that bring that reality bring that ideal future bring that existence through that you know practice through the daily practice through that daily process you know your habits your behaviors and shit like that via understanding what thoughts and feelings am I creating? What type of self-talk am I having? What am I praying on? Because you can pray throughout the day to find a burger place, right, in your mind. Or you can pray upon finding a solution to a problem that's been, uh, you know, depreciating you or dequalifying you from the things that you actually want to qualify for and shit like that. So, yeah, that was it, man. That was all. That was a long talk, long conversation. We're going to keep these videos coming. Real shit. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and comment. Do all the good things. Real shit. I'm going to see everybody tomorrow in the next fucking video. Peace fucking out.